Hey, what's going on guys? Today on this episode of Rig Walkarounds, I'm very excited because we kind of have a celebrity Jeep that we're gonna show you. This Jeep was a build Jeep on Bleepin' Jeep and we talked to Matt and we said, hey man, the owner asked us to film it. What do you think? He's like, yeah, absolutely. So today we're gonna take a close up look at this. There's been a lot of work done by the new owner. Let me introduce him. John, how you doing, buddy? Hi, Brad. Thanks for uh, showing, letting us come out and film your rig, man. This thing is so cool. I remember watching the video, it's awesome. What was it about this Jeep that made you want to get it? Well, it's a great rig. I mean, Matt did a fabulous job of building this. I love the theme concept. But when I went looking for a Jeep, I didn't really know anything about bleeping Jeep. I just, I, I wanted a Jeep that I could just go off road when I go out with the motor home and that. And the fact that it was had a following, the fact that it was built, the fact that it was done. Yeah. It's just like I had to dig deeper in it and I worked the deal with Matt and we put it on a truck and it, now it's in Southern Awesome, California. man. Well, now you, it's in Southern California. You're a lucky man. Well, I'm excited to take a look at it, man. Let's talk about some of the specifics. What, uh, what bumper is this up here up front? Well, the front has a lot of rough country on it. Okay. It's got a rough country bumper, it's got a rough country stinger, and it's got a rough country winch. The brush bars, they're all custom. Matt did, all, Matt did those. Sure. The wraparounds that give it the military look around the light, that's all custom for that. It has, as I said, the tow behind the motorhome, it's set up for flat towing. Okay. It has the hookups for that. I've added those. Nice. Now, the winch, uh, have you used this much? No, I haven't. Okay. This thing does a great job, yeah. and it's too nice to really do hardcore with. So, um, Now, what lights do we have here? We have Quadratech lights, basic setup spots. Okay, they work pretty well then for looking down the Yeah, trail. they work well. Matt had them up on top. They had never been wired before, so okay. they have found a home. All right, and then uh, you've got some very nice custom headlights that were done on here. What yeah, they're these? HID projector lights. Okay. Man, I got to think they throw light down the trail really nice. Well, along with everything else, <laughs> does a nice job. Okay. And they project a small beam right through the right through the cutout, so. Okay, nice. And uh, he's got the hood louvers in here, right? We have Napier hood louvers here. They were, they were a sponsor with Matt, and I contacted him and told him I had bleep a Jeep, and he sent me a set. Oh, he no was kidding. Yeah, he was glad to, be, glad, glad to be on board and stay on board. He loved he really loved the project. Awesome. Well, very cool. Well, let's uh, let's take a look under the hood, man. I know you got some goodies under there. Okay. Okay, so talk to us about some of these goodies we've got under the hood here. Well, under the hood, all the oil leaks are gone. It's all been cleaned up and detailed. It got a new NOS exhaust manifold. Okay. One of my favorite things that got added though is that big Odyssey battery right yeah. in front of you. Yeah, that's really nice. It's a marine battery with dual terminals on it and it's a beast. Yeah, well, very cool. We've got a lot of electrical work. We've got a cut off for all the electrical. Okay. And to give those hood vents a little bit of help and keep this thing running cool, I've added a couple of uh, 12 volt brushless fans to the underside that draw heat out. Okay, and you've upgraded your struts? Upgraded the struts. It has strut rods, prop rods gone, and it has struts on the hood like it should have had and like all new cars should yeah, have. Yeah, you know, that's a nice upgrade, man. I think, uh, I think I'm going to be copying a lot of stuff for the Cher Cherokee we're building, so that might be a good upgrade we do for it. Cool. Well, let's go take a look at uh, tires and suspension. Sure. All right, John, I'm going I'm to be honest, man. When we were following you out here, my son and I were like, man, that's got so many nice things. Uh, one of the big things is it's lifted and it's got tires, and I'm so looking forward to doing that to our Cherokee. Talk to us about this suspension. The suspension's rough country. It's got a six and a half inch long arm okay. on it. All the parts, sway bar dis dis disconnects. Uh, it's got rough country track bar. It's got the steering uh, tie rod upgrade on it. Okay, H how's the ride down the road? The ride, the well, the ride's good, but it's not new car sure. ride. It's much more fun to drive it off road it's than it cheap. is to run down the highway with it. Okay. Uh, the shocks, the original shocks weren't weren't up to snuff. They've okay. been upgraded to Fox factory series with remote reservoirs. Okay. They're if you're going to bomb down a washboard road, they're absolutely necessary. Oh, very nice. And you've got lockers up in here. It has an ox locker on the front. Okay. It's electrically actuated. The front is is a Dana 30 high pinion. Okay. It has chromoly axle shafts. Oh, nice. And it's got a fair amount of metal added to it. It's got a weld on upper truss. The C's have been welded. The lower control arm mounts have welded plates on. And most of that was all home done. Man, so much nice work done to this. Makes it so, you know, it's not stuff you see, but it makes it such a capable rig for sure. And you've got some skid plates and stuff underneath there as well? It's got a, it, it's got the Rough Country cro uh, cross member under the transfer case with the additional skid plate. That came with, Matt had done those. Okay. It's also got a custom-made tranny plate okay. that protects the entire bottom of the transmission. I'd like to do, still do something probably for the sump on the oil pan. Okay, nice. And uh, what fenders do you got up here? These are Napier Performance Products, okay. fender flares. They had to be enlarged even a little bit more. Sure. The, uh, the tires still probably 
at least in the rear, come all the way to the point where they just rub on them. Okay. They're big tires and you're, you really got to yeah. open up the fenders. Yeah, well, let's talk about them. What size tire and what do you got here? These are 35s, general grabber, red okay. le letters. Yeah. They're on a 15 inch race line wheel. Sure. Everybody knows race line wheels. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the tires, I mean, they were made for the desert southwest. Yeah. They were built for desert racing, they're rugged, and they do terrific in dirt and sand and rock. Sure. Perfect for out here in Southern California. Perfect for Southern California. Yeah, nice. What, uh, what rock guard you got over here on the side? Well, we have a lot of JCR parts on it. It's okay. a JCR rock, rock guard. It's a bolt-up rock guard. Okay, awesome. And uh, now the rack, man. I love the rack and all the goodies you got up there. Talk to us about that. The rack is a JCR rack. It's their pre-runner rack. Matt modified it considerably. It's got a whole welded on bottom to it. it. The front loop was brought down. Thankfully it was because I have about one inch clearance to get this in my garage. <laughs> okay. It has a, a loop hooked to the rear okay. that keeps things in, in place. And on the other side, there's an ARB awning. Nice. Well, that's very nice, man. I really like it. Let's uh, let's go take a look at the back. You've got some cool storage that I'm very interested in checking All right. out. All right. So I love the bumper and the whole setup back here. Talk to me about what we got. We have more JCR parts. Okay. We have a JCR rear bumper, has the uh, built-ins for the lights. We have some more Quadratec lights back here. Okay. They're floods. Nice. Uh, the JCR swing away tire carrier, okay. which as you notice, I, there is no tire yeah, mounted no right to tire. it. What's going on, man? Uh, no spare tire at this point. The assembly, the tire and wheel was very heavy. Okay. So was the rack to add to it. It sits about three feet behind the rear axle line. So, it seems you just keep adding weight to these things and adding weight. And I talked to the guy from General Tire and I mean, their tires are tough and we have full compressor and tire repair stuff. Okay. So I've elected to shed the weight. I have a spare tire. It actually went to Moab and it stayed in the motorhome. Okay, well, good. And you got the Rotopax gas cans and you got the high lift built up here. I, I love the setup, man. But I wanna see what's inside because I'm gonna do something very similar to this. So show us your storage setup in here. All right, man, you gotta tell me, uh, first of all, you custom made all this back here, is Cus that right? Custom made storage boxes. Well, show me what you got and how you did it. Well, we've got a four drawer setup. It uses up the entire room back here. It fits very snug wheel to wheel. It's bolted through to the floor. Okay. Carries pretty much everything that, you know, Mostly stuff for the Jeep okay. at this point because it's a day use vehicle. It's not set up for camping and that. So mostly the stuff that's for the Jeep, a little bit of food, a few necessities, things like that. Okay. Went with a cooler instead of a fridge. Okay. Cost wise. And sure. just really wasn't, a fridge just wasn't really necessary. I didn't need it at that point. Yeah. But it's all nice stuff. You, and this is all plywood and you got the carpet on there. All plywood, carpeted, painted. Okay. And the uh, hinges, what kind of hinges did you use? <clears throat> Well, for slides, I just used some that I got off of Amazon. Okay. 100 pounds, 100 pound slides on the drawers. There's actually four of them on the cooler slide because okay. they're used in a different orientation. Nice. And you've got, uh, you got some more Rotopacks up in there for what looks like water and a little storage. Some more Rotopacks. There's the first aid kit and there's a water, t water one, one here. Nice. A little fire extinguisher, a few oh. lights. Yeah. And you got the, the famous uh, headliner up in there, man. I love that. That's so unique. That's very cool. Awesome. Well, let's, uh, let's go take a look at some of the goodies in the interior. All right. Okay, John, talk to me about all the kind of like, gear you got up in here. You got all kinds of switches and good stuff. What do you got? Well, it's a full leather interior. We've got the Quadratech floor mats. Matt had already done those. The switch and gauge area has all been redone. Yeah, We've got I, I love those switches. Switches for the lights. We've got a piece up here that has switches for our cameras and for our, uh, the hood fans. Got a couple of gauges in here. Got my phone set up. CB radio, have a rear view monitor. Yeah, I love the fact that you got cameras on, on the XJ, man. That's really yeah, cool. Yeah, camera on the rear, and there's actually two cameras in the front brush guard that show up in the monitor oh, through here. Yeah, that's nice. And then there's the famous uh, Hope Floats uh, uh, custom gauges. The custom they're... gauge package, yes, that, was all, that Matt had done by Azzy Design Works. Awesome, very cool. We also here. have electric diff lockers. Well, man, I gotta say, this is one nice rig, and there's a lot of things on here that I know that we're gonna be looking to do with our uh, our XJ build. Uh, so here I go, five questions I ask everybody. Uh, what is your favorite mod that's been done to this thing? Actually, my favorite mod was a $45 part and it was the Boost Work Transfer Case Linkage. And the reason it became my favorite mod is that it was amazing how a $45 part could turn into a two-week project. Uh, 
because I ended up having to gut the whole interior out. I ended up doing all the rust repair in the floor and insulating the whole floor. And when I was done, the part worked great and so did a lot of other things. Nice. Well, but uh, it's a good upgrade though, right? Very good upgrade. Okay. What's, uh, what's the next upgrade? Believe it or not, this one's done. Okay. I mean, people say Jeeps are never done, but as far as I'm concerned, this one's done. She still needs some TLC, some minor little things, yeah. but as far as modifications, upgrades, yeah. the, pack the package is complete. Capable rig. Uh, Very capable for sure. rig. Okay. Uh, what's been your stickiest or scariest situation off-road? Well, other than probably dealing with heights on shelf roads as far as being scary, I actually enjoy seeing other people get scared when I take it out. I like to take out new people to four-wheeling, introduce them to it, and it's you, you don't even have to do too much. And the next, you know, they're, they're scared right away. You go through a few ob obstacles and that kind of stuff, they gain their confidence, and by the time, end of the day, they want to buy a Jeep. Right, yeah, nice. Uh, what is uh, the favorite trail you've had her on? Favorite trail I've had this on uh, has, has probably has to be Moab. Yeah. I mean, we didn't do the hardest trails in Moab. We did fins and things, and I just just enjoyed it immensely. Nice. Uh, what trails on your bucket list? Bucket list for this, if I can get over, get through a couple of small reliability issues, is Death Valley. Oh yeah, nice. There's I a mean, lot of wheeling to do out yeah, there. Yeah, but it's a long ways. It's a long ways from civilization and a long ways from help, and yeah. she's got to be reliable. Awesome. Well, man, thank you so much for uh, coming out today for letting us take a look at this. I was glad ride. to bring it out. I appreciate it. Uh, we look forward to seeing you out on the trail, man. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brad. Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching this episode of Rig Walk Arounds. You know, this is one really cool XJ and we are really excited to take some of these ideas and transform to the build that we're doing. If you haven't checked out that build, head over there. We've got a full uh, playlist we've started where you can follow us from beginning to end. And look, if you're visiting the channel for the first time, we'd love to have you as a member of the Trail Recon team. So hit that subscribe button. And look guys, uh, visit us over on Facebook and Instagram. You can follow along and see what's going on behind the scenes. Until next time, we'll hope to see you out on the trail.